Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Floppy Sword, and today we're playing Saloon Simulator. An abandoned saloon is waiting for you to restore its former glory. Find out that managing a saloon isn't just about creating drinks and meals. Clean up, organize, and choose the right friends, all to become the most recognizable business in the Wild West. All right, so here we are. We're starting down Main Street here of Blueberry, the town of Blueberry. Welcome to Blueberry. No truce passing. What's up, beautiful? Looking delicious today. Got some horns to grab onto. <laughs> All right, we got the blueberry sheriff. Looking good, looking good. We got the a business here. Looks like a this letter looks highlighted. Let's see what we can do with this. All right. Those who need to know, no. But just in case, my wife Addie and I are leaving. A little shop, a woodworking workshop must be closed or rather relocated since blueberry has fewer visitors. We can't sustain ourselves. We're heading to Darkwood, where there is a greater demand for my services, and Addie will handle the clientele there better. Blueberry is our home, and if the town comes alive again, we'll return by the first available train. Okay. I can put that down. There we go. Hello? It's pretty pretty dead in there. Let's see what this is. It's nothing. A turd. Looks like you can go upstairs there. Random building. This side, we got the bathhouse. Okay. Look like there's a light on or something in there? No, just the light. The sunlight. House or something. We got another building here. What the hell is this? Find a way to get inside. Time to use some muscle. Rip up the boards blocking the entrance, okay? Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah. 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 Alright, we're in. What a pig style. I was expecting a saloon to be abandoned, not devastated. Oh my. When you have a trash bucket in your possession, you can collect garbage found in the saloon. Press F. The bucket will be part of your inventory after picking tab. The presence of garbage within the establishment discourages customers, affecting your tips, the number of guests, and the reactions. There is a large garbage that doesn't fit into the bucket. You need to take it to the garbage dump. You'll notice a garbage dump marker when you have a large garbage in hand. In the full version of the game, you'll have the opportunity to exchange the collected garbage for valuable rewards. Okay. So, next order of business, find a bucket. Alright. Let's see one there. Oh, here we go. Pick up. Pick up the scattered trash. I'm on it. Okay, let's pick up the, the junk here. This is a tripping hazard. Okay, no, that's not going to work. Usually I, I'm pretty good at cramming big things into small places, but that one is... Wait, where the hell? Pick up the... Where the hell did the bucket go? Oh, there it is. I guess when I picked up the chair, it swapped on me. All right, let's see what else we got here. I'm over here. Can I pick that up? No. Not a bad looking place. Definitely needs some work. I wonder if we can... Uh, Clean up the floors, like the color of it and wallpaper and all that. All right. I'm kind of excited about this. It does look like you can serve drinks and stuff. You can check the game out on Steam and read the full review there or the uh, description. Get a better idea. Looks like people will like have bar fights and there will be blood on the floor and stuff you have to clean up. Uh, grab chair. Just gonna focus on the the trash for now. What do we got? Twenty one of twenty five. Let's check behind the bar maybe. About this. Oh. Okay. One more piece. No, did I get it? It's like the broom from the radial menu tab. When you have the broom in your hands, you can clean dirty services. Press F to clean them. Cobwebs, floor, dirt, and other signs of clutter will diminish the cleanliness of your premise. Sizz and deter customers. Occasionally, you may uncover small valuables misplaced by saloon guests. Beneath layers of dust. Okay. Go ahead and grab that then. Pick up the broom. And start cleaning shit up. Pick up the broom and clean up the dirty floor. So here's an area. Hold F to clean. So this is like some other uh, cleaning kind of games. Kind of satisfying feel, you know. Keeping a place nice and tidy. Okay. Where's the other one? Oh, it's right there. I like that you can jump over the uh, 
over the bar. Oh, we found some money there. By picking up the piece of furniture or other saloon furnishings, press F. You can place them anywhere you like. Press F. You just said that twice. Ensure order by positioning chairs next to the tables, providing your guests with a spot to enjoy their drinks and meals. Okay, cool. Let's do that. Found some cash line here. Let's pick this up. We'll attach. Okay. Can I not fit you in there? Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that you can uh, kind of change the layout around a bit. There you go. That looks good. All right, let's get this one on here. All right, there it's looking good. We got the three tables set up. All the chairs are picked up off the floor. It's shaping up just right. Friends and foes, talk to a stranger, okay? What the hell are you doing in here? Okay. Blueberry Guess. Your saloon is attracting a variety of visitors. Engage in conversations. Press F with some of them to discover their reasons for visiting. It's an opportunity to connect with blueberry locals and passing travelers. When you stand behind the counter and select the appropriate take order icon, you can start preparing orders. All right, let's see what's up. Hello, hello. Jesus, you look like you had a rough day, man. <laughs> or life. Outlaw, well, well, you've done a fine job setting up, Butterfingers. I must say them rat baubles on the threshold caught my eye. You come up with this decor yourself. What the hell are rat baubles? It's my business, what happens? Okay, we both know that ain't true. Have you forgotten the agreement you made with the uncle? Oh, God. You know this man? I know him. I also know he'll be mighty disappointed if we don't handle a sensitive matter right quick. There ain't a moment to lose. Okay. Something to do with murder, right? Why should I trust you? Who are you anyway? It's always murder. They call me W. As long as you run the saloon, we're tied together like tumbleweeds in a dust storm. Do you understand each other, Butterfingers? Okay. We're hooked. The name's Cheyenne. I don't think I need to listen to you. Wait, am I a chick? I know your name, and Uncle knows what's going on here. He hears and sees everything. Quit wasting our time and follow me. All right. But how? I mean, walk, no? Follow W to the indicated place. Oh, God, we're going upstairs. What are you doing to me? Oh, God. Where are you taking me? I'm scared. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, shit. Told you it was murder. Are you kidding me? That's a fresh corpse. No exaggeration with the freshness. He's been lying here for about two hours. Come on, there's nothing to admire. Help me clean them up. All right. No fucking way. Tell me this is murder. If we get rid of the body, there won't be any talk of murder. Besides, the town doesn't have a sheriff yet. What is this man doing here? He's lying dead. Do you know that there is such a thing as stupid questions? Stop asking them and get to work. I saw a rag somewhere here. It will come in handy to wipe off the blood. Okay, cool. So I'm playing an idiot. That's good. Find a rag. Can I drink this? Let's stage, stage it. There you go. He, he just drank too much. <laughs> uh, we need a rag, need a rag, need a rag. Oh, is it outside here? Wait, what's that? Yoink. Okay, grab this. Thought you'd be peacefully serving drinks to wealthy oilmen? Not so fast. The rag you required will come in handy for wiping away blood stains. Be it after a bar fight or the interrogations led by W in his private quarter, maintain order and eliminate any evidence that could get you in trouble with the law. Engaging in illicit activities can prove quite lucrative. All right. I got no problem uh, being a piece of shit. See to crouch. Let's hold this. Clean it up. Perfect. Okay, there we go. All right, 
Do we wash this thing off, or like, do we just clean everything with this bloody rag? After picking up a body, press F. You can bring it to the mortician and place it inside a coffin. Mortician will compensate you with fair payment for each body while offering a solution to dispose of inconvenient evidence. Wait, why is she paying me? Seems weird. <laughs> Dude's got some hairy ass arms, man. <laughs> alright, you alright, bud? Let's grab him. And stay out! I just wonder. I'm, I'm just practicing. Alright. Okay, this is definitely the mortician. What's up, cutie? Let's do it. It's all yours. What a surprise. You're one of them after all. One of whom? What are you talking about? I was just here to run the saloon. Are you ended up carting around? And you ended up carting around dead bodies. This one I know. He was pouring drinks before you. Welcome to Blueberry. I'm Casey O'Hara. Great. They call me Cheyenne. Are you working with W? So I just killed the last uh, bartender. Accusations like that can land you in a coffin, you know? Now listen, the deal is simple. You'll get a cut of the profit from whatever I managed to find with the corpse. Clear? Sounds good to me. So that's how it's so that's how it is now. Don't beat yourself up as long as you're not the one lying in the coffin. Everything's fine. All right. Casey's profile is now available in the journal. Do I have a journal? What button's that? Where do I have a journal? Small furniture, big furniture. Okay, J button's not working. We have the I button. I don't know what other button I got. We can turn the UI on, it looks like. On and off. Mashing more buttons. Okay, nothing. Nothing here. I can crouch. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm not quite sure where the journal is. Alright. Uh, return to W waiting in the saloon. Salon. Saloonage. What's up, W? Done. Great. I'll wait for the final act with applause. I'll fill you in on your new job when the time comes. What new job? Just relax, Cheyenne. You'll hear a whistle and see me at the window on the other side of the terrace. That's a signal for you to head to the barn. Understand? You will whistle the barn. Whatever it means, so be it. I guess I don't have much of a choice. You're making a good assumption. There's a chance you'll live a little longer. Longer than the previous owner? So Casey spilled the beans, huh? I couldn't help it. The drinks were slipping right through his hands. Did you know that in a situation like that, I always like to get myself a stone fence? I don't, I don't even know what that means. What does that mean? Are you talking about a drink or do you need a stable? I'm talking about a drink. So how will it be, partner? Oh god, I'm gonna get murdered. My hands aren't trembling, W. Go to the bartender's stand, okay. My time to shine. Let's close this. That'll protect me. Check what drink the customer has ordered. The information is displayed on the top of the screen in the, in the bottom left corner in the form of a list which will guide you through the proper steps. We need a stone fence. So get a drink glass, pour two ounces of whiskey, one ounce cider, add ice mixed together with a spoon. If anything goes wrong, you can restart the whole process. Just remember used ingredients will go to waste. Select the appropriate type of glass from the circular menu by left clicking and drag it to the table. Okay, then press next step or shortcut D. If the glass is empty, you can swap it with any consequences, without any consequences. Okay, so it wants a drink glass to put you here. I did it. Next step. Choose the main ingredients for the drink, which is the alcohol. Take it from the circular menu by left clicking it and drag it over to the end. Start pouring by pressing enter or space bar. Okay. All right. To make sure you go for a perfect drink, look at the checklist below. It's tracking your progress so you won't miss any step. When you finish adding alcohol, click next step. That's two. Okay. Uh, we want to add the old cider. Some drinks require special additives. 
like bitter or honey. This one doesn't. So press next step to see what stands behind last touches section. Uh, wait, go back. I gotta add the cider. The fuck? Okay, there we go. Beautifuls. Okay, next step. Uh, okay. Now we want to get ice. We don't need any bitters. Finish the drink by adding last touches. <clears throat> According to the checklist, just like in the previous steps, in some cases you need to mix the drink with a spoon. To do so, grab it, drag it over the drink, and start pressing enter or spacebar until the mixing bar is full to see other possible actions. Check the list in the down right, down right corner. Okay. You can check if the if every ingredient is in its place by consulting your checklist. If everything is in order, you should serve the drink to the customer by pressing the finish drink button. Grab the finished drink and place it in the special field in front of your customer and press a designated button. Okay, I, I just want to do it. Just do it. Okay. Good. Mix together with a spoon. Uh, how do? What did it say? <laughs> Left close, a spoon, okay, yeah. Gotcha, finish drink. That's what I needed. I'll be damned, it's good. If I'm going, if I'm gonna make more of these, I'm gonna need supplies. Don't worry about that. I know a reliable supplier, goes by the name of Jack. I'll let him know to start making trips to Blueberry again. You'll find everything you need at his place. Okay. Much obliged. No problem, partner. I reckon we won't be needing any more stone fences made for me. I doubt. Yeah. Pleasure to meet the new owner of the once famous Blueberry Saloon. Alright. Let's pick this stuff up. Alright, the saloon can be either open or closed using the information board located in the front of the main entrance. Press F. Closing the saloon may be necessary at times to fulfill important tasks within a specified time frame. However, in general, keeping the saloon open tends to yield more advantages than disadvantages. Be cautious about possibly the possibility of losing customers, as this can lead to complications with Uncle. It's better to avoid such situations. Alright. Let's open her up, baby. Serve the guests and wait for the trader Jack. Look at this guy coming. Where the hell are you guys coming from? Time to rock the business. All right, let's do this. Damn, the liquor is running out. Where's the trader? Okay. What's up, man? Okay. Accept order. Start making drink. Okay, what does he need? Shot glass? Done. Okay, whiskey? Next step, whiskey? Got you? I got you, bro. What is it? Two ounces? Okay, got you. Fucking get in there. Next step. Next step. Finish drink. Alright, what do you got? What do you get? Okay, start making drink. Shot glass, two ounces of gin. I got you. Next step, man. Let's get this gin in there for this hard-working gentleman. There you go, sir. Next step, next step. Finish drink. Have a great one. Talk with the trader. It's time to rock the business, okay? Traders out here, I guess. Oh, money just being left behind. What's up, man? Okay, you're coming in. Okay, gotcha. Are you the trader? Is it nine cents? That's all I made. Jesus Christ. Are you the barkeep that W was talking about? Pleasure to meet you. In the flesh. So you're the decent supplier W mentioned. W said that about me. I mean, yes, yes, it's me. I'm Jack, and trade is my middle name. Is that so? Well, I'm in need of some good whiskey. Can you manage to rustle up some? You betcha. Just tell me what you need. Fucking whiskey. <laughs> uh, you can now order alcohol from Jack. Simply approach the checkout counter and choose the desired liquor or other assortment. Purchase items will be instantly displayed on the corresponding shelves. Sounds good. Grab this cash here. All right, Jack. Now we can open the store here. Uh, let's go ahead and add a couple bottles of that. 
the fur. I don't know what else I need. Go to the cash register and order one bottle of whiskey and one bottle of gin. Okay. Should read first, but that's all right. There we got what we needed. Oh, we have the journal here too. That's where it is. I know you're going to be my favorite customer. We're going to make quite a team making money hand over fist. Jack, for now, I gotta focus on selling the first batch. You gotta succeed, Shay. I mean, huh? You'll definitely make it. Say, could you pour me something to calm my nerves? What's troubling you, Jack? Just a little refreshment, that's all. I always had a soft spot for gin. One gin for nervous Jack coming right up. Gotta keep our spirits high, right, says Cheyenne? All right, let's do it. Let's see what we need. A drink. Oh, this is three ounces of it. Holy shit. Is this free? You better be paying. Oof. Almost got it. There you go, man. It's time to rock the bit. Serve a few drinks. Okay. Let's check the journal quick here. Serve a few drinks. New order. This just is just showing us what the tutorial is, basically. All right. Can I clean this shit off? How do I... Maybe this... Spotless. So we, I think we get more money the cleaner it is, right? Okay. I uh, gotta put this down, I guess. Okay, let's accept the order. All right. Let's begin making it. Okay, drink glass. Two ounces of whiskey. Uh, one ounce of cider. Oh shit, I went over. Uh, add ice. And we want to stir with the spoon, huh? Okay. Alright, what do you need, sir? Okay, let's go. Drink glass, okay. Four ounces of whiskey. Holy shit. You have a problem, sir. Getting hammered tonight, huh? The old lady on your, uh, on your case? Uh, add a slice of lemon. Okay, add ice. Let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and stir this with a spoon. Finish drink. There you go, man. What do you need, sir? A shot of gin. I got you. Shot glass. We need that gin up in here. Let's go ahead and get two ounces up in this bitch for this gentleman. We are making money. That last little one is kind of a bitch. Good string. There you go. 46 cents. That was a little bit better. I wonder if it's because it's cleaner and shit in here. Okay. Make the first meal for the guests. I got money all over the place. Uh, who wants the meal? This guy? You want some chili? I got some chili. Biscuits in the skillet. Okay, take an order for a meal. Let's do it. Accept the order. Hello, sir. You definitely won't get diarrhea from my food. In addition to serving drinks, your responsibility includes providing delicious meals. The kitchen is equipped with everything you need to satisfy the hunger of any guest. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate your business. Waiting for food. Hard biscuit stew. Is that it? I don't have to do anything here. Is it this door? Holy shit, this place is bigger than I thought. This room needs a major overall, it says. Okay. Grab a cooking pot. Throw that on there. Uh, if you want to cook something for the guests, you need to check the ingredients for your dish first. To do so, check the book icon. You can track a recipe by clicking the designated button in the cookbook. All right. Uh, you can see all your collected recipes here. Choose one and track it. Okay. You can close the book by pressing X in the top right corner if you want to switch through available recipes, clicking the arrows in the bottom. All right. I don't think I have any. There's no, there's nothing else. Hard biscuit stew, he said, right? After you decide which recipe to use, drag ingredients from your first category and drop them in the pot, then use next step button to check other ingredients. Remember to check your ingredients with the checklist or yell to you. Okay. We need add fresh beef. Okay. 
Uh, add two crunchy hard tracks? What? What the hell? Hard tacks. Vegetables are the next category. Left, uh, drag them in. If you want to check what ingredients you use, pay attention to the widget on the left. After you fill your pot, next step. Okay. Uh, hard tack. What the hell's hard tack? I've never heard of that in my life. Two carrots. Uh, spice up. Okay, let's add some spices. Uh, use spices. Drag the container from the circular wheel above while holding the button. Start shaking the container until you fill the dish with spices. After you make your ingredients, make sure your ingredients are on point. Click finish cooking. Right, heating up your meal. Take note, if ingredients are bad, you will instantly end up with a slush. Okay. Where do I see the... How do I know it's enough? Holy shit. How spicy is this? Is it working? Oh, it's over here. My bad. How the hell did we see that? I was waiting for this to ding off. Get ready. Now you need to apply heat. I don't know if that worked properly. I didn't understand the spice. Now you need to apply heat to your dish. Maximize the flame by clicking enter or space bar while the cursor is over the green flame tile. Be careful clicking over the red will hinder your fire. Okay. All right. Got a little mini game here. Hard biscuit stew, price 69, portions 10. Uh, we actually made it? Remove the pot from the stove and place it at the serving table. Okay, grab a plate and fill it with the finished dish. Alright, fill that up. Return to the customer. There we go, we, we did a thing. After such a meal, I can... Okay, that was quick. Didn't see that. The drinks flow, the punches follow. Attend to a few customers. I think a fist fight's about to be coming down up on here. Hello, good sir. Hope you're having a wonderful evening. What can I get you? A stone fence. Roger that. Is that like an outlaw drink or something? Must be. Let's go ahead and grit that drinking glass and we'll go ahead and get some whiskey i'll pour this bitch in here okay perfect we got the cider we throw that in there just announce the cider all right we're good let's throw a little bit of ice in here okay drop that in of course we'll stir this up go ahead and finish that drink what can i get you man whiskey sour i got you i don't know if i've made a whiskey sour yet have i maybe that was the uh the one the drunk dude earlier got. Let's get four ounces in there. Yeah, I think I did make this earlier. Pop! Right off the goddamn top of it. Let's go slice. Let's get some ice in there, baby. Let's get that spoon up in here. Yeah, you could get into a rhythm with this game. Let's finish that drink. What can I get you? Hard biscuit stew. I got you, man. Let me grab that for you. So this made 10 portions, which is good. So you don't have to make it every time. That'd be terrible. All right, grab this. Okay, who's gonna win? Wait until the brawl is over. I got my money on uh, Dark Hat. Got on the left. Oh yeah, he's going for the nut kicks. Yep. Guy is dancing on the right. I don't think he understands he's in a fight. Oh, knocked his hat off. Oh, shit. Came across with the right overhead. Oh, man. Ended it with a, uh, the ball bleeder. Kick to the nuts. Take, take the beaten man to the doctor. Gotcha. Can I have my money? Thank you. Got a draft in here. Come on. Do, 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 do. Once you've retrieved a body, press F. You can bring it to the doctor and place it in a specifically prepared area. Press F. Doctor will restore the injured person's health and you'll earn reputation points. Additionally, interacting with the residents of Blueberry may lead you to uncover their personal stories. Who knows? You might become intertwined in their lives. Sometimes lending a helping hand in Blueberry is worth it. Okay. Where do I go? Right there. Okay. Bit across from the mortician. 
Makes it convenient. All right. Welcome, stranger. I'm Henry Seymour. They call me Doc. Suppose you can guess why. You're a vet? They call me Cheyenne. Do you have any uh, patients here, Doc? I specialize in removing bullets and fitting artificial teeth. Can't complain. If you find someone injured, bring them to me. I'll patch them up and get them back on their feet. I can't pay you, but the town will be grateful, and so will the people we'll save. Okay. Sounds like a terrible business. Do my best, Doc. See you around, Cheyenne. Okay, return to the saloon and your customers. Is there a guy standing down there by the sign? What is that? No, nope. just a head there. What else do we got down here? It's like a tool shop, maybe? Mining supply. It says it's open. What the hell is this? It's like a dynamite and shit. Nice bed. I wonder if there's like sideways to make money. Little side jobs. Other than the dead bodies. Alright, let's come back to the bar and see what's going on. Ugh. I think we gotta clean stuff up. Uh, let me get the brush out. I don't know if we need this pro oh no, we need the rag. What am I talking about? We already did this. Listen to what the guest has to say. Yeah, I'm, I'm cleaning first. We, we got we got fresh blood. Alright, let's do this. Get these few spots here to clean up out of the, the amazing hardwood floors that we got installed. Okay, good. Alright. Grab that cash. Holy shit, who's this guy? Look at you, aren't you something? Howdy, I'm Cassidy, and I welcome you to the place where dreams come true. Is that what you say? They call me Cheyenne, and for me, the town looks deserted. It's all appearances, my friend. Just appearances. Blueberry holds a hidden treasure. I can sense it. You look like a sharp young man. You must feel it, too. Wait, I'm, I'm a young man? Okay. I'm not quite sure myself. What do you do here, Kiz? You seem to have quite the insight. I don't know what my accent is yet. My, my voice. The only real job there is. With all due respect, I'm a gold prospector, and I own the local open pit mine. Okay, here we go. I didn't know, know Blueberry had gold, says Cheyenne. Pay me a visit sometime, and you can help me with the mining. I have a special machine for it. Just need to fix it up. We'll split the findings equally. 20% for you and the rest for me. That's cool. I like that there's some side business going on here. Doesn't sound entirely fair, says Cheyenne. You can work out the details later. Don't let it bother you. Now listen, <laughs> could you make me a drink? A gin cocktail has been on my mind, but there's one catch. Stir it with your picker. No, I don't think he said that. I don't think he said that at all. Stir it with my pecker. Your pecker? Okay. Until my machine starts producing, I won't be able to pay with money. <laughs> what can you offer then? Zip. If you can make a drink just the way I like it, I'll have a special gift for you in the future. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Oh, God. I've heard that before. Let's give it a try. Better be like gold nugget or something. Drink exchange. In the full version of the game, you'll encounter individuals who will offer you unique items instead of money in exchange for their favorite drink. Whenever you come across such an opportunity, you can trade your drink for a special item. These special items can serve various purposes, such as aiding in completing a mission, acting as a souvenir, or becoming a unique decoration for your salon. All right, let's make this dude a drink. He wants the gin cocktail. Let's get that drink glass down here with the next step of the gin. We'll throw the gin up in here with the motherfucking two ounces. Chug, chug. Let's add one table spoon of sugar syrup. Okay. How do I... Where's the... Where... Okay. I, I didn't know where the measuring was. Two dashes of bitter. Okay. One. Two. Gotcha. Add a slice of lemon. Let's do that. Uh, add ice. I got you. Add a spoon. Okay, and finish drink. There you go. 
Ooh, I can't believe it. It's like my mouth. Okay, that was a really quick message that was impossible to read. Each blueberry resident has his or her own favorite drink. Oh shit, crime time. Go meet W at the barn. I got you, W, I'm coming. The barn, 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 the barn. Where's the barn? Where's the barn? What barn? There's a lot of barns here. Everything looks like a fucking barn. What barn? I'm having a panic attack. Oh god. Oh, never mind. It's a big barn here. When did this get here? I'm coming. Bad Hoss Stables. All right. Talk to W. How's business going, Cheyenne? I heard from Jack that supplies are flowing. Can't complain, but what's on your mind this time? Uh, same as always, I want to help you with your business. See that wagon over there? And the dead body? I, do I even want to know about that? Trust me, you do. I use this barn to dismantle stolen carts. You can make a good profit from it. Careful and clean up any traces thoroughly. That's where you come in. How exactly? It's simple. I'll keep watch while you dismantle the wagon and hide the parts in the hay. If you happen to come across a treasure chest, try opening it. There's a body inside. We've got that covered too. Uh, Casey and her irreplaceable services. Exactly. So let's get started, Chan. Here's a crowbar. Time to get to work. Finding peace in Blueberry is no easy task. W has a habit of stealing carts. It's up to you to get rid of them without leaving a trace. Why? Why is this my job? Each cart consists of multiple parts. Select the crowbar from the wheel menu tab and start dismantling the individual components. Left mouse button, put dismantled parts in the haystack. If you successfully target the right parts, you'll be rewarded. Once you've opened the crate on the wagon, you'll have a chance to earn unique rewards. Okay. Take apart the cart and get rid of the large parts in the hay. All right. I suppose to get the blue parts? Let's, oh, you just hit it. Fuck. Bash this thing. It's like confetti. Happy birthday! Uh, in the what? In in the hay. Like what? This hay? Okay. <laughs> this game's got a little bit more to it than it looks, huh? In the chest. How about we get rid of all of it? Uh, okay. Here's a little chest. Open the wooden box. What do we got? A letter. Cordell, do you remember that overzealous recruiter, Hank? Yes, the one who boasted about his preference for old-fashioned drinks with cherry and a piece of lemon and claimed that criminals from Georgia to New Mexico would tremble at the mention of his name? What a despicable character he is. I had hoped they would have resigned, reassign him to Wilderness Patrol, where perhaps a scorpion in his shoe would mark his end. But alas, fate has other plans. It seems he is destined to arrive in the remote town of Blueberry to maintain order. I urge you to assess his performance and provide him with clear instructions on how to fulfill his responsibilities in upholding the state's business. We cannot afford any negligence or incompetence. Jesus Christ. All right, let's grab the money. A hundred bucks. Holy shit. W, we have a problem. According to this letter, the sheriff is on his way to town. It seems that this guy here was sent to assess the situation. Well, he won't be assessing anything now. We need to act fast and take care of the body. Time is not on our side. This will complicate our job significantly, Cheyenne. From now on, we need to be extra cautious. Okay. Blueberry has a new sheriff. Your actions will now be closely monitored, so be mindful of his reactions to avoid getting in trouble. When the sheriff visits the saloon, you can distract him from his duties. Simply serve him the appropriate drinks to lower his anxiety levels. Exercise caution when dismantling the cart, as excessive noise can raise the sher sheriff's alarm level. A sheriff's start, potentially exposing your actions. If the sheriff catches you transporting a corpse, there will be consequences. You'll be punished. Stay vigilant and avoid getting caught. Okay. Hank's profile is now available in the journal. Get rid of the mort the body at the mortician. Okay. Where is the body? Eesh. Okay, so we got a sheriff somewhere over here. Go this way, maybe? Think it's clear? Yeet! Nothing. Give me my money. I see the state's sheriff star here. I hope both you and W know what you're doing. 
Wait, what? I share the same hope. We need to ensure they're hidden well. Sheriff will be arriving in Blueberry soon. Oh, he's not here yet. Shen, you brought changes to this town. I trust you got what it takes to deal with them. All right. Want to get married? Iron Train. Sounds of the railroad carries many, many meanings. It signifies various events and opportunities within the town of Blueberry. It indicates the arrival of new residents, potential of fresh goods in the store, or potential for additional tasks related to the town's growth. The railroad is a vital connection, brings life and opportunities to the town. Head to the saloon and wait for the new sheriff. Let's meet this asshole. In we go. Yeet. Is this you? You ain't so tough. Barkeep. Barkeep, are you the reason I ended up in this here hole? I don't think so. I'm just trying to run my business. I'm not getting anyone's way. Why is everyone blaming me for everything? What the hell is this? Well, what's your name anyway? Cheyenne. Listen, Cheyenne. My name is Hank. I'm new sheriff in town. They sent me here because rumors reached the authorities that the town is starting to thrive. Whose fault is it? Is that? Uh, you mean to say it's credit, right, Hank? For you, it's Sheriff Custer. Let me tell you this. I want there to be order here. As soon as the town is seen to be peaceful, the quicker I can get a promotion. I won't interfere with the sheriff's work. You have my word. And damn fucking well, Cheyenne. Think of me as the leader of the wolf pack. As long as you obey, you can feel safe. Now show me what kind of drinks one can pull off here. Surprise me. Oh. Prepare a drink for the sheriff. Okay. Uh, book here. Wasn't there one in the, uh, that letter I read earlier? I don't, I don't remember what it was. The gin, stone fence. It has a little description here. Popular, okay. Whiskey sour. Old fashioned. Gin cocktail. Looks like an old fashioned kind of guy, doesn't he? Let's try with that one. I'm I'm pretty sure I must be selecting the wrong one though. I don't know if there is a good one. Two next whiskey go port. Let's just get him anything. Get the fuck out of here. Five dashes of bitter. Two tablespoons of sugar syrup. Perfect. Add a slice of lemon. Add one cherry. Uh, add some ice. Finish drink. Let's see what he thinks. Well, 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 Cheyenne, you surprised me. You even managed to find the cherry on top of this ruckus. Okay. Told you, Sheriff Custer, I'm not getting in anyone's way. I'm just conducting my business here. Now, let's keep it that way. If I see you cause any problems, we'll quickly follow to favor. Do you know what wolves do to those who get in their way? Sure you, Sheriff. You won't have any issues with me. Very fucking well. One more thing. Come see me once I've settled in here. I'll have something for you. Now it's time for me to leave. Don't stir up trouble. Cheyenne. Well, that guy's a dick. It's your life now. Close the saloon to start customization. Alright, let's close it. Blueberry Saloon is at your service. Go to the decoration tab at the checkout store. Buy the furnishings you want and can afford. Replace or customize smaller furniture by interacting with them. Press O. You can replace large furniture in the customization tab and cash register. You can hide or old furniture by holding them. Press F and pressing the appropriate button. Press P. Okay, a lot of buttons there. Posters? Look at this old shit. What are you doing? No, I just wanted to put it on the... Okay. Here we're going to buy alcohol. We can uh, get some food here. Lots of lock stuff. We got the kitchen. We got the bar. Decoration. This is what we're looking for. We got some chairs. Here, let's look at everything. A stump table. I kind of like that. Oh, this is pretty cool how much you can uh, change it. Wallpaper Chicago. Okay. Nice high back rocking chair. Everything's pretty cheap. 
plain wood floor or plain wood floor? A bear rug. I want the bear rug. A large rug. Faded. Here, antler. Get a couple of those. Let's see what else we can get. Let's get some antler half tables. Okay. Just like maybe three of those. Let's get maybe a couple of antler chandeliers. Maybe a couple stump tables. Okay. All right. Maybe a couple more bear rugs. Okay. Ranch doors. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Let's order all this for 19 bucks. Seems like a pretty good deal. Now what? Use customization menu press uh, O on chosen objects. Chosen objects. Okay. Let me get my trusty bucket. Throw you in there. Where's that letter crap? Yeah. No, I don't. Okay. Fuck out. Uh, here. O to customize. Reset. I don't know what color my... Wait, what color is the building? I wonder if I can change the color of the whole building. It's just red and purple or whatever. Red. How does that end up to that color? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, we'll go with that, I guess. Get a big red, uh, blue door on it. Fuck it. <laughs> It's got the uh, ranch uh, horns on it. That's cool. Uh, table. Okay. Confirm. Let me get the others changed here. I didn't realize you changed the actual stuff here. What if you buy more than three? How does that make sense? Congratulations for completing the Saloon Simulator. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. We'll play lots more games and have lots of fun. Floppysword.com. You can find the link to Discord with the Floppy Lobby. We have like six, seven hundred people in there. Come join us and hang out. We have a good time. You can check the live streams. I live stream a lot and we have a good time. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much. Please leave a like on your way out. Goodbye.